Welcome back to a new video. In this video, we are going to create a keyword extraction tool using Langchain and Python. Let's start coding. I'm in VS Code right now. You can use any code editor that you want. I'm going to create a Jupyter Notebook. I will say, let's say keyword extraction dot IPMB. And let's define the keyword extraction firstly. Keyword extraction is the process of identifying and extracting the most relevant and significant words or phrases from a text. For example, let's say you have a sentence, you have a big text about large language models and you want to extract the keywords because you are going to check if it's going to be optimized for the search engine optimization or anything like it, it can be useful on analyzing the documents, etc. And in here, in document LLM article, let's say, you are extracting the keywords from here like, let's say, fine tuning, and benchmarks transformer architecture and stuff like that so what we are going to do in this video is we are going to pass text like this large language model article and we are going to get keywords with our keyword extraction tool that we are going to build in this video so keyword extraction helps in summarizing the main topics or themes of the content making it easier to understand and analyze large volumes of text quickly. This technique is useful in various applications such as search engine optimization as we just talked, information retrieval and content analysis as it allows users to efficiently index, categorize and retrieve information based on key concepts. So it can be used for categorizing text too. Let's say you have a blog with a lot of text, then you can easily categorize by the keywords. So let's continue with coding. I'm going to delete this one and let's pick a kernel from here. And we are going to start with installing the libraries. You can do it from terminal, like I'm on Mac, I will say pip3, you can go with. So after picking a kernel from here, we are going to start with installing our libraries that we are going to use. Like you can do pip install if you are in Windows. I'm going to say pip3 install and I'm going to install Langchain for this tutorial. I already installed it, but you need to install Langchain if you don't have in your environment. So I'm going to close that. And at the first place, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what Langchain version I have right now, because with library updates, like if they update Langchain, these codes can be not working at that time because library updates can remove some code structures or change how codes work behind so since i'm running this code successfully if you are going to install the same version you can easily get run this code successfully so i will say import length chain and i will say length chain version and let's see what version i have 0 to 12 so if you are going to install length chain you can do for this so pip3 install length chain accused 0.2.12 like this you can install it like that great so so let's start out building our tool at the first place we are going to do the import i will say from langchain that prompts import prompt template like this it's going to help us in creating prompt structures and we will say from langchain the chains import large language model chain and then i'm going to say from langchain the chat models import chat open AI like this and these are going to be our imports at the large language model chain side we are going to use it for managing the combination of prompts and language models and at the chat open AI side we are going to use it for chatting with open AI models at the next step we are going to set our API key like I will say API key and I'm going to edit you can take it from the OpenAI website, Playground site. Creating an API key is free and it gives you $5 bonus at the starting. And you can generate your key from here. In this video, I think we are going to use like 3 or 4 cents, not more, maybe maximum 10 cents, 20 cents. I don't think we are going to use more. If you do a lot of examples, maybe we can get to a dollar, but I don't think so. And I'm going to enter my API key like this. It starts with SK and 
I'm not going to give my API key in this video. You can easily get it from OpenAI website and I'm going to paste my API key in here and then I'm going to make this cell run and I'm going to delete this API key when I'm re-recording back. Okay, now I entered my API key and as the next step, we are going to define the keyword extraction function. For that, we are going to define a function and it's going to process input text to extract keywords. So step by step, at the first place, we will say create a prompt template like this and we are going to create a structured prompt that tells the model what to do, like extract keywords from the provided text. And the next step, we are going to do initialize the chat-based OpenAI model. And this is going to be our next step. We are going to use chat OpenAI to work with chat model. I'm going to use GPT-4 in this video and it needs version one chat completion endpoint. At the next step, we are going to create a chain and we are going to use large language model chain to combine the prompt and the model, creating a process that takes the input text and generates the desired output. And at the last step, we are going to run the chain and we are going to execute the chain to get the keywords and return them. So these are going to be our steps. Let's define this function. So here we are going to say define extract keywords and we are going to give text inside it and then we are going to create a prompt for keyword extraction so it's going to be prompt template and it's going to be prompt template we will say input variables is going to be text like this and template is going to be extract actually it returned arithmetic error we, are not, we don't want that and in here we will say actually I don't know it, why it keeps completing okay now we are cool and now I'm going to give my template like let's say extract the keywords from the following text and we will give the text like this and we will give the keywords like this and great so next we will initialize the chat based OpenAI large language model so we will say LLM is going to be chat OpenAI and we are going to set the model as GPT-4 and we are going to set the temperature as 0.5 and we will give the API key like we created the variable in here I will say API key like this and next what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a chain with the prompt and the large language model so I will say chain is going to be large language model chain LLM is going to be LLM and prompt is going to be prompt template like this and we are going to get the keywords by running the chain so at the next step we are going to set something like response and then we are going to say chain.run and we are going to say text and text like this and we are going to return response.string and this is going to be our function so let's check our steps again we create prompt template, we initialize the chat based OpenAI model, we create the chain and run the chain. In here, we create prompt template, then we create chat based OpenAI large language model, we create the chain and we make the chain running. Great. So we have our function right now. Let's test it if it's working or not. I created some paragraphs before this video because I don't want to take your time too much. So I'm not going to write them one by one i'm going to read them but i'm going to make a copy paste in here from the texts that i prepared before this video so let's start with the first one i prepared the first one about the machine learning and ai i will say first text and let's make it run like this and let's read it so it says artificial intelligence and machine learning are rapidly evolving fields they have applications in numerous domains such as healthcare, finance, and transportation. So let's make it run, great. And let's say keywords is going to be extract keywords, the function we defined in here. And we will give sem sample text, first text, like this. And now it's working behind. It says string object has no attribute string. So let's remove it like this. 
and I'm going to make it run again I just deleted the string part of it and I'm going to make this rerun and let's see if it's working in not and it worked smoothly right now great and let's call our keywords and see what are them so our keywords from this text is artificial intelligence AI machine learning ML rapidly evolving fields applications domains healthcare finance and transportation great so it didn't take words like have in such as and it took words like healthcare finance artificial intelligence machine learning and it's working in the way that we want and it's working smoothly great okay so let's test it more so i'm going to make a copy paste from the texts i prepare i have a text about space exploration and let's read it space exploration has led to numerous discoveries about our universe missions to mars the moon and beyond have provided valuable data on planetary geology atmospheres and potential for life notable missions include the hubble space telescope mars rovers and the voyager spacecrafts okay let's use our function let i will say space keywords and i'm going to give extra keywords with space exploration text actually i'm going to give a q sign in here and i'm going to make it run and i think it's going to work smoothly right now yes there was a typo and i'm waiting for it to run great so now i'm going to call the space keywords and we have space exploration discoveries universe missions mars moon valuable data planetary geology atmospheres potentials for life hubble sp space technology mars rovers and voyager spacecraft nice it's working really really good let's do it with something with renewable energy i'm going to call it and let's read it renewable energy sources such as solar wind and hydroelectric power are crucial for sustainable development they reduce reliance on fossil fuels lower greenhouse gas emissions and help mitigate climate change technologies like photovoltaic cells wind turbines and hydro dam play a key role in harnessing renewable energy so let's do that energy keywords and i will say extra keywords i will give renewable energy text and let's call energy keywords after that and let's see what we get renewable energy sources solar wind hydroelectric power sustainable development fossil fuels greenhouse gas emissions climate change technologies photovoltaic cells wind turbines and hydro dams great it's pretty good let's do one last example i have a text about the technology trends and let's test it so technology trends text it's modern technology trends are rapidly evolving with significant advancements in artificial intelligence blockchain and the internet of things ai technologies such as machine learning and natural language processing are transforming various industries blockchain provides secure decentralized solutions for transactions while internet of things connects devices for smarter environments so let's test it with technology keywords and we will use our function extra keywords and we will say technology trends text and let's call technology keywords after that and here are the words so let's read them modern technology trends rapidly evolving significant advancements artificial intelligence blockchain internet of things ai technologies machine learning natural language processing transforming industries secure decentralized solutions transactions connects devices and smarter environments great it's working really good okay now i'm going to quickly summarize what we did in the video and then we can finish this tutorial so we imported langchain and i showed you how you can install the same version with me and we imported chat open ai large language model chain and prompt template then in here i created my api key variable in here then we define extra keywords function in here we create a prompt template for keyword extraction we give the text in here and then we initialize the chat based open ai large language model like this we give api key in here and we create a chain with the prompt and the large language model and we get the keywords by running the chain and we return the response in here and we do our examples at the ending of the video for testing it and in my opinion 
the test was successful and the function is working smoothly. Thanks for watching the video. I have a playlist for Langchain and AI. You can reach that playlist from the cards of this video. Have a great day.